Welcome back to my brutal difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, my friends. This is chapter number 21 and it's called The Atlantis of the Sands. During this chapter we have 5 treasures to collect. Even though if you select this chapter on the menu screen, it will say that there are 8 treasures for us to pick up. But even though you can pick up all 8 treasures during this chapter, Three of the treasures could have been obtained during chapter number 20 and that's what I did. So if you followed my walkthrough you should have those three treasures as well. So we're going to pick up this treasure. And this chapter even though it's not very long, it's a tough one. But hey, at the very least, after this chapter is done there will only be one chapter left. So we're almost there. Incredible. This is how the city could thrive all the way out here. The whole place must be fed by an underground spring. It's clean. It's amazing it's still running after all these years. That's a hell of a thing. What? No. <clears throat> no. Please. Sully. I know, what a shocking turn of events, but unfortunately we don't have a lot of time to just be sad because this entire section is really complicated. We have to take care of the remaining Marlowe's men, um, but unfortunately after you shoot them once or after you damage them enough, they will transform into this Ghost Rider version. <laughs> version of themselves where their face starts flaming up and they become a lot more powerful, they can teleport from one area to the other and they can also throw projectiles that instantly kill Drake even though to be honest on, on brutal difficulty you'll die instantly from pretty much anything so it doesn't really matter. So you've taken care of the first three, this is the best area to make your stand since you have a lot of cover and the enemy will have to come up to to find you and usually two shots from this handgun will finish them off but two rockets from the RPG will, al will always finish them off as well and the grenade launcher is always a nice alternative as well even though I'm going to save that for the next part of this chapter where things will be even harder Let's take care of this guy. Surprise! There we go. And let's take care of the last one. One more bullet will do him in. You know what? Let's use the RPG here. Finishing in style. And that's it for the first wave of enemies. But we're going to move down now. Before you do that, make sure you pick up the treasure that's right here in this ladder. And apparently I can't pick up that grenade for some reason. Even though I do have a slot. And let's also pick up a little bit more ammunition. There we go. We have the best weapons for the next segment of this fight. And here's a little bit of extra ammunition. 
That's why I told you that it was important to carry that grenade launcher from the previous chapter. You will have plenty of ammunition to, to conclude this chapter and you will have a lot of powerful weapons at your disposal but the enemies are tough and they can come at you two or three at the same time and it's very easy for you to die. You'll have to be very quick paced and dispose of them as quickly as possible. So for this section all that we need to do is follow Talbot. And at this point it really does seem that Drake is simply hallucinating. But we can still die. So now we have to make a run for it. Be careful because the spiders can kill you. But if you keep pressing the square button, Drake will push them away from his body. So you won't really take too much damage, even if they somehow manage to, to get to you. It's been a while since we visited this area. A lot of chapters have passed. I'm sorry I have to do this old dog. But it's you or me. Okay guys, so as you can see Drake is completely out of it and before I forget I almost forgot that there's a treasure back there so sorry about that but make sure you go to the back of the elevator and here's another treasure make sure you get it I'm already prepared for the next fight so I totally forgot about that treasure but there it is and we'll see if we can do this in our first try even though I do admit this section is very hard because Marlow's men do turn into those ghost rider monsters and it's just so easy for them to teleport behind you and finish you off it can really be problematic but we'll manage and we'll use this area for cover so just move close to the wall press triangle and that will trigger the next sequence of events no way. No way out. Oh, no. and here they come I'm gonna kill them. they want Drake's soul but we won't give it to them don't worry about using ammunition here because there's another grenade launcher that you can pick up In fact, you'll find that there's a lot of ammunition for you to get here, but try to finish them off quickly. Don't stick your head out too much, and I think I finished them all in a go, which is awesome. Normally they would try and flank me here, but everything turned out pretty nicely. Let's take care of the next two. Again, we're just going to open fire. Can't be real. Can't be real. And they're both down as well. See, that's why the grenade launcher is so good. Fire two shots, and if you're lucky, like I admit I was, you'll finish them off with two shots and they won't get close to you. If they do get close, I would use the handgun. But now this is the true hard part, because there's five of them, if I'm not mistaken, and there's one behind me. Darn it. They also like to teleport a lot here, so they'll keep running away. Don't stick your head out too much, otherwise you'll die before you know it. Oh boy. 
And be careful with those projectiles. How is that guy still standing? Oh goodness. There's two more. Oh boy. That was close. Very close. Okay, that guy's down and that's the last one. Let's not mess up here. Of course I have to miss. Now he's down as well. Is there another one? Yes, there is. And that guy... If he hits me, I'm done for. Oh boy. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Where is he? I think he's trying to go for, to the other side. Yep, there he is. Sneaky little bugger, you won't get me. But there we go. We managed to finish them off. This last section is the hardest of this chapter. It's just insane. Just how many of these guys you have to take care of. And how they each go from an opposite side and they just flank you and you'll be surrounded by them and it's very easy to die here. But we managed. So it might take you a couple of tries, but as long as you stay under cover, save those grenade launcher rounds, you should be okay. I'm glad for one that I managed to, to do this because it is tough. Now we just need to solve this very simple puzzle. First we push this lever down to fill the pool up with water. And now we just have to rotate both sides, on both sides, but we have to wait for Drake's reflection to move to the appropriate area, otherwise we won't be able to, to turn. So let's wait, and now we can start trying. Drake's reflection is a little slow, and it takes him a while to figure out how to do this, but there we go. Say no to drugs, kids. Say no to drugs. So, after Drake finally finishes his trip, <laughs> he was tripping quite a lot, but make sure you pick up this treasure right here in the corner, and that's the last treasure for this chapter, even though technically you can obtain another treasure, but we'll get it at the start of chapter 22. So now all that we need to do is climb down the steps, and we're almost there, my friends. One more chapter and the game will be over. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later for the final part of my Uncharted 3 walkthrough. Take care.